Hello and welcome to part three of the video lesson for section 3.5 of the PNN staff manual. This section is titled Using Equipment, and we are going to be talking about some of the auxiliary equipment today. So, boom mics and light kits. So, um, the boom mics will come in one of these boxes. You can get them from the equipment room. Um, in each boom mic box will be a cable like this one, a battery, and a microphone. So, the first thing you do once you get it all out of the box, right here on the side of the mic is this little panel. You see the little lines here. Put your finger there and slide out. Now this is the battery compartment. Make sure you put in the battery correctly. The sticky uppy side goes um, with the bigger slot. There's a little minus here. I don't know if you can see on the video, but there's a minus here, and this little metal plate is larger. That's where you put the sticky uppy side here. So make sure you get that in properly. Snap it in. This slides back on. And make sure that you turn on this switch. If you don't turn it on, it won't give you any audio. I have done this multiple times. Please double check that your mics are on. Um, so turn it on to the middle setting, the on. Um, from there, you have this thing, which if you wanted to, I guess you could plug directly into a camera, but you'd have like this much room and it would kind of defeat the point of having a separate mic. So that's where this cable comes in. This is an extender for this type of cable. So you just plug this in like this, just make sure it's in, and then this end goes into the camera, into the mic slot. From there, Take this boom stick, it's, it is located um, next to the checkout computer in the equipment room. Um, it's also, it's the same sticks that we use to change the lights, so if you, um, you can see them in the lighting board section as well. Um, there's a screw hole right here, it's the larger one. Don't try to put it in the smaller one. The larger one matches up with the screw on the end of this. So. Just twist it in. So now you can twist each of the, there are three little sections here. You can kind of see one, two, three. Um, so you can twist to unlock, slide it out to the length you want, and then twist it right to lock again. Same thing here. You can twist it and extend it. And so as you can see, you can get quite a long mic this way. Um, and this is the kind of thing that you see people getting bopped on the head in the movies with. <laughs> So that is basically how to use a boom mic. We're going to collapse this and then move on to light kits. So this is a light kit. Um, there are several of them. Some of them are red. Some of them are blue. Some of them are in, some of them are in plastic bags. Um, but they are all available in the same locker in the equipment room. So just take the little buckles off. And in it, you'll see a couple of items. So this is the actual light. Um, you can see the LEDs here. On the back, there's an on-off switch and a place for the battery. The battery might be in the kit or on charge. Um, it's, they're charged on top of the lockers in the equipment room. You'll see a number of chargers with these very thin rectangle batteries in them. Um, you want the side that says caution. You want that side up. So match the metal parts up with the metal parts. You can see there are little metal pokey things in here, and there are metal plates right here. So line those up, make sure the caution goes up, and just set it in there. You can replace this little cover to make sure it stays in, and that just snaps on. So from there, uh, those of you more familiar with photography or DSLRs might recognize this as a hot shoe. Um, what that means more in English is that you can slide it on to a matching piece, like this one, and then this has a screw port. So if we come over here to the tripod, you can see that it will actually screw directly into the plate. So you can set up a tripod exclusively for your light if you wish. So just screw it on, and then it sits on the tripod just like a normal camera would. However, there, are, there is another option that I think most people will find more preferable. We'll take it off the plate, and we can use this part. 
Now what this part does, um, right here it's got a screw hole and then it's got two screw threads. And so it's basically like a splitter because this is one screw and you're splitting it into two screws. So this, the bottom part here, can be secured to the plate. And you'll want to face the sticky outy part um, on the side that's slanted. And I'll show you why in a second. Screw that on. And then you can screw a camera on right here. I don't have one to show you. But you can screw a camera on right here. And then your light can go here on the side. So then you can screw that on, have your camera here, and your light right here. And then this just snaps on like that. And the reason you want this facing this way is so that you don't have your light right in, the, right in front of your camera, because obviously that wouldn't be very helpful. So that is most of the useful parts of the light kit. Um, you've also got this. This you'll never use. This, this is an adapter for wall, for outlets in Europe. That pretty much sums up all of the items that are contained in the light kit. So thanks so much for watching. This has been part three of the video lesson for section 3.5 of the PNN staff manual.